Hi, I'm Dave Shuttler, the Bug Doc. We're out here today evaluating some new insecticides for cutworm and sod webworm control. Now, if you take a look at these plots, uh, the way that we do this is each one of these uh, different areas has been treated with a different insecticide or a different rate of that insecticide. What we then do is come back at a later time and we use a detergent soap flush in order to encourage those cutworms and sod webworms to come up to the surface where we can count them and find out whether our products are, are working or not. Now if you've never seen them, uh, cutworms typically make these types of, of marks in the, the turf. They'll often set up in old aerification holes. They'll come to the surface at nighttime and eat the turf down. The sod webworms often are mistaken for disease. They, they will come up to the surface uh, and just feed on the surface and not make these little pock marks. But both of these will come up when we use that detergent uh, soap flush. And you can actually use that if you're on a golf course or your sport field to evaluate whether you've got cutworms or sod webworms. So what, what percentage solution is this, soap solution? Uh, this is basically one tablespoon of Joy dishwashing detergent per gallon of water. And this won't kill the grass? It won't kill the grass. Uh, actually there are three soaps that can be used for this. Uh, we've had uh, no phytotoxicity with, with Joy Ultra, uh, Dawn Ultra, and Ivory Clear. Now if you want to kill turf, use palm olive. <laughs> Cutworms that's come to the surface after we've applied the soapy solution, and he's not feeling too good. They don't last very long after having that uh, soap solution. It penetrates their exoskeleton and kills the underlying cells. Here we are in one of our uh, test plots, and, and there are several insects that have come up. Here's a, a sod webworm. This is probably about a medium sized one. As you can see, they're really pretty small. What we also get are uh, coming up are these little uh, black shiny beetles which are the uh, adults of the black turf grass atinius and so sometimes that's a good way to also monitor whether you've got atinius uh, in your greens and teas. Mm -hmm. 